Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I have a few things to show you today. Now, there's a lot hanging out on my desk, so just kind of ignore all of this over here for now. I wanted to show you some things that I got this week from a sweet, sweet friend. And let's see, here's her card right here. Now, she sent me a ton of books. She sent uh, four large books and all of this. <laughs> this is from Christine. And let's see. She says, my dearest friend, as I was looking for books to send you, I came across some ephemera. Hope you will enjoy using them in your awesome crafting ideas. Praying you all are well where you are. Uh, P.S. Keep up your beautiful work. I so enjoy watching your videos. You inspire me so much. You are a blessing to me. Thank you so much, Christine. That is so sweet of you. Now, she knows I love bling, so she sent me a whole pack of bling. Love, love, love it. Uh, these are little glitter bottles. Some Kleenex for my crafting table. Some burlap. This is a little uh, hand sanitizer pouch. Some Cricut pens, and these are in gold. Uh, some, uh, this is like acetate pouches, I think. Some glitter paper, uh, some a notebook, Mrs. Sparkle and Company. And then this is a little notebook that she made, I guess. I'm thinking, maybe, yeah, it looks like it. So that's cute. Uh, card. I can't, I don't really know what these are, but I've got an idea what I can do with them. They're little pouches, and I think they would make great bookmarks. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. And then a little pack of ephemera here. Uh, sweetness for my sweet friend. <laughs> so I know what I'll do with that. And then some tags, a large tag. More ephemera. All kinds of, well, I can't even get a hold of it. All kinds of ephemera in here. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll be using that on lots of different projects. And look at this paper clip. I have never seen a paper clip that large in my life. But that is fantastic. I will definitely use that in a project as well. So thank you so much, Christine. This is so sweet of you. I can't believe you sent me all of this. And then all four of these books and I have been using this one like crazy it's just the right size so all four of these books she sent me and then let me lay those over there then I got a package from let's see this package is from Mary I had to find your name Mary and she says first on here, she says, no, I did not make this card. <laughs> Mary, you could, I'm, not, I'm sure that's something like you could do. Uh, says, hi, Edith, I've been watching your tutorials on YouTube. I was really inspired to try my skills in crafting with paper. I think she says, I am a cropper, been for years. It is my stress relief, but I always craft in wood. But since this pandemic, I feel fell in love with you, with your videos, and started crafting with paper. I've seen your latest videos, and you are requesting old books. I found this old book, and then I am enclosing some pages from one of my children childhood books that fell apart, and some pages lost. Will all with all the move I made. Enjoy it and can't wait to see what you make out of it. Keep up the good work. Love, Mary. How sweet. That is sweet. Sorry that I stammered on some of the words there. Um, so this is one of the books that she sent me. This one is, let's see what year this was published in. 1964 so that's a good one it's even got a lot of good old photos in it so that's great well there look at that so it's lots of good things in here i love how they put just a little bit of that color in the background i guess they did that i'm not i don't know somebody might have added that in who knows 
but this is great. This is a good size book. Look at that. Uh, Secrets and Spies is what that one is. And then this is the, this is the most wonderful little book. Look at this. These pages are simply adorable. They're so old and antiqued. I love that. The Shoemaker and the Elves. Look at this. This is so, so sweet of you to part with this. I can't believe you parted with part of that. I, I appreciate it so much, and it will go to good use, I promise. All right, then I wanted to let you guys know, yesterday I had so much trouble getting videos up. I think it was a YouTube thing because my system kept saying everything was fine. Uh, my videos had processed, and then they would sit on YouTube for a while, and then all of a sudden YouTube would say abandon, can't read the file or whatever. So I finally, last night I think about 9 or 9.30, got one video up, but... um. I didn't get the other one up and then I got to thinking I've had quite a few people that have messaged me and it's they're finding it a little bit difficult in a week to complete a project to you know have another entry into the May challenge so I think what I'm gonna do instead of giving away a gift every Friday I'm gonna wait till the end of the month that I'm gonna give away four gifts so you will have all month long to do your entries. That way you can get more entries in, you can have more chances to win, you can complete projects and get them posted on our Facebook group, that kind of thing. I hope that's not disturbing for anyone. It's still gonna be the same amount of giveaways. It's just that you're gonna have more chances to win because if I do it every Friday, then I'm gonna to have to, um, Start from Monday and go through Friday and check and see who's got projects completed and up and who's got comments and all of that. And then clear all those out and then start the next Monday and go again. So it'll be easier on me and more, uh, I started to say productive, but anyway, you'll have more chances to win if I do that. Because then you've got all month to do the different entries, the different projects, different comments, all of that kind of thing. You don't have to hurry up and get something done in a week to get your entries in. So I hope that's okay with everybody. We're still going to give away the same amount of pri prizes. They're still going to be the same dollar amount of prizes. It's just that we're going to give them away all on the last day of May. So the 31st of May, we will come on, do a video, and uh, do random.org. We'll pull everybody that's had an entry anywhere. If you've had 25 entries in the month, then you get 25 chances to win. And that way we'll pull and we'll give away four prizes. It is open international, so if you are wherever you are in the world, you're welcome to participate. All right, that's enough on that. So, like I said, I hope that doesn't disturb anybody or make anybody ill. Uh, it's just, it's going to be easier on me and give you more chances to win. So, all right, I had quite a few requests to do a video on our little book page pockets. So, we're going to do that real quick today. It's not going to be a long video. It doesn't take long at all to do these, and I absolutely love doing them. I just did this one in about 10 minutes. I love This is a little um, cutout out of a book that I had a long time ago, and I just cut that out, put that on there. This is a little sticker that I had. It says, Dear Mom, I love you. And I put a little two up there to think, you know, I don't think he's two, but maybe he's going on two. And then these are just some little stickers that I had in my stash. Now, I did stitch around mine with my little sewing machine just because I like playing with that little sewing machine. <laughs> and this is just a little pouch. So this will be just a pouch. Now, these are envelopes. I stamped on this one. I love the stamping. I think it's so pretty. But um, this one I made a little shorter, and it's just, I've just got a little Tim Holtz paper clip at the top. So you can see there is the uh, envelope part down in there. So you could use these for a lot of different things. If you didn't want, if you don't do journaling or things like that, you can use these to send little gifts and things to friends. This, 
I'm sure they would love getting something like this. And then this is just a larger pouch. This is the one that I showed the other day. Now I haven't decorated the back of these. I probably will go back and do it if I don't glue them down to my page. I'll go back and decorate the back. But I'm going to show you how to do this one and this one today real quick. Because I know you guys have got lots of things to do. It being Saturday. So let's grab some book pages. Now I'm going to use this book because it seems to be just the right size for what we need to do. And you're going to need four pages to do the one. And then on the other one you're just going to need two pages. So we're just going to pull out six pages out of here. Okay. All right, we will start out with the uh, envelope. Let's do it first. So I'm going to lay those two aside. Just make sure that your pages are, you know, trimmed off on the side. I probably need to trim these because it's got a little bit of that adhesive on the side of them that makes them a little rough. So I'm just going to trim these down a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Like that. And that should take care of all of that. Sorry about the banging and clanging. I've got kids coming over tonight to um, for Mother's Day and my and Melina's birthday. Melina's birthday is Tuesday, so they're they're wanting to come to Mom's house tonight. So I'm having to hurry because I've got to do some cooking and uh, a little bit of cleaning. I need to do a little bit of cleaning. Okay, now all I'm doing is I'm taking one page and putting it on top of the other. And I want to see, I want to get one on top that's got quite a bit of writing. And I just used a glue stick in the center. Now, if you're not going to sew yours, if you're just going to glue yours, then you need to put glue all the way around. I plan on um, sewing this one, so I'm just going to use glue right in the center because I don't want to get glue on my needle. All right, so we're just putting a little glue in the center just to hold them, not, not to glue it down. But if you're not going to sew, then you go ahead and put glue all the way to the edges because you want to glue your pages, well, very well together. Or very together well. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, all right. So that is that one. Then this one, what we're going to do is I want the front of this to be upright, the writing to be upright, just like the back part is. Now, when I fold this over, of course, this writing is going to be upside down. I don't, that's not a big deal to me. I'm going to stamp on it. But I want this one down here to be upright. So I'm going to trim off this white part right here. I need my other little trimmer, but this one will work. I'm going to trim off that white part. And then I'm just going to check and see. I think I want I want to go up. I'm going to make quite a quite a large pocket on this one, I think. So I'm going to go up to about right there on that. And then this is going to be my flap. Now I don't want my flap quite that big, so I'm going to trim off some of this white up here. And a little bit of this white down at the bottom. That'll make my flap a little bit smaller. Okay. And hopefully I trim that straight. Now, this is going to sit down like this and glue just like that. So see, these two we're going to glue right here. And then this is going to be our flap that's going to fold over. Alright, so I'm going to use just a little bit of art glitter glue to go around the edges of this. I'm just going to put a little bead around just to hold it. So go around the bottom and the sides. Don't glue the top. Now if you're stitching and you wanted stitching up here, stitch this before you glue this down. I'm just going to go ahead and put mine down 
because I know there's a lot of people that don't stitch. But I'm telling you, this little sewing machine does a great job on things like this. Okay, so we've got that down. And now we just need to fold this over. And I just kind of, I don't score these pages or anything because a lot of them are very fragile. So I just kind of fold it like that. That gets my fold in there. And then I'm going to cut that a little bit at an angle. So I'm just going to cut it about like that. And I think I'll just, when I get here, I'm just going to round a little bit. And then I'm just going to take that piece and flip it over here and hold it like we have shown how to do so many times before. This just kind of gets them even. There we go. And then that is our flap right there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and ink around this one. This is something you do not have to do. I just like the inking. If your book page is really, really old and it's already got the dark edges to it, then you definitely don't have to do this. This is just, this one is not uh, faded that bad, so I'm going to do it on mine. All right, there we go. Now let's do some stamping. Now I pulled out just some various stamps. Uh, I've got, let's see, I've got the Tim Holtz Butterflies, so I've got that one. This is his Flutter, that's what that one's called. And then I have the Wildflowers, I believe is what this one's called, yeah. Tim Holtz Wildflowers, I like all these. So let's pull one of these out of here. I kind of like this one right here like that one and I like that one so we'll put this one back up and this one back up now here is where you can get really creative you can stamp these in the black like I did on this one or you can stamp them in the color different colors it doesn't matter. I'm going to show, I'm going to stamp this one in the aquamarine. Uh, I just like adding different colors in on mine, but that's something that, you know, you just decide what you like. That's quite a big block for that one, but that's okay. Now I do, when I stamp these, I do second and third generation stamping. That makes it look like you've got a whole field of wildflowers. Make sure I get that inked up well. And I just decide where I want the first one. Let me grab my piece of paper here. Put that down. So I think I want the first one right there. It's going to be my focal point. And then I'm just going to stamp the second and then the third maybe and I even sometimes I'll go back and stamp the fourth one so that's my stamping there and then let's grab this one ink it up well and then we're gonna put this one over here and you can kind of overlap them a little bit put another one there I come back and I just put them in different areas see Lots of different, and it, it makes it look like there's a whole group there. And I think I need another one. This one's kind of big, so I think I'm going to stamp a different one. Let's grab another one here. Let's grab this one. I haven't stamped this one yet. Let's just stamp it and see what it looks like. We'll put it right in the center. I love his stamps. They're so easy to use. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Then I'm going to come in over here and do a little bit right down here at the bottom. Make it look like there's some coming up there. Over that way. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to put 
something up here at the top and I'm just gonna put butterflies at the top because you know how much I love butterflies so I'm just gonna do a butterfly that one right there then I'm gonna do one that looks like he's kind of flying away there and then we'll do let's do this let's put this right here and we'll do kind of a light one there and then maybe a little wing right there so that just gets us some different stamping on there and I love that color of course you know I do look at that and see that just dresses that up so pretty now I'm gonna sh I'm going to stitch on this and just show you how easy this little sewing machine works. This is from Magic Fly. And somebody told me the other day, sent me a message and said they had been trying to purchase this from my link and it was not available. So I'm going to try to find it again. I, I think it's back in stock. They had sold completely out, but I think it's back in stock now. So I'm going to do my best to find it and I'll link it below. They're very inexpensive, but they work well and they come with a ton of product materials a bag uh, all kinds of all different colors of threads and everything so we will try our best to link that all right i'm just going to start right here and i will turn the volume off and just let you see the machine All right, so there you go. Look at that stitching. I'm telling you, it does pretty good to be a little bitty sewing machine. I like it. For things like this, it is ideal. You don't have to drag out your big sewing machine. Or if you don't have a sewing machine, it's ideal to have something like that around. That would even repair, you know, if you wanted to repair clothes or something like that, that would do it too. But that is that one. And then I've just got a little Tim Holtz paper clip here that... I'll put across the top. Now you could close these many different ways. You could put little buttons here and do strings around them. Whatever you wanted to do. And you can also tea dye this paper. You need to just spray it and not dip it because it is fragile. So I would just spritz it with my tea dye or coffee dye or, you know, like I do raspberry dye, whatever. I would just spritz it. I wouldn't uh, dip it because the, the papers are too fragile. But they look really pretty when you do that. Okay, we are going to do the other one. Now, for the pocket, all I did was I just took the two pages that I've got glued together, and I think I glued these, didn't I? No, I didn't. Let's glue the little glue in here, and this, this one is running out, so we'll use the last of it. Okay, put a little glue in there and just glue those together in the middle. And then make sure that when you fold it up that your writing is right side up and not, you know, if you fold it this way, your writing is going to be upside down. So just make sure when you fold it, your writing is right side up. Now I go ahead in this front part right here, I go ahead and punch my little pull. So I go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink a little bit. I'm just going to ink this one just a tiny bit around the edges. Just to make it look a little bit older. This one's kind of old, but I want it to look a little older. There you go. There is your pocket. Now you can glue these sides. You can glue them if you want to. I'm going to stitch mine, but you can definitely glue them. And that is, that's your pocket. Now, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the front. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stitch this real quick off camera, and then I'll come back and we'll decorate the front. We have that stitched, and now we can put something down on the front of it. Now, this is where you can get really creative. You can either stamp on this, or you can use different things that you have in your stash. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me put that down on there. Um... There's just lots and lots of different things that you could do. 
I'm um, just trying to look through some of my little items over here. I think I may stamp a couple of times on this and then I will uh, put that big butterfly down on there. Let me grab another ink. I'm going to do a, a different color ink. So I'm going to use Rose Matter, I hope. I think I haven't got my refill in on this one yet and I'm hoping that I've still got enough ink in here. Looks like I do. Let's put our paper under. Ooh, pretty. I like that. And then let's go ahead and I tell you, let's stamp this one. It's kind of a large page. We can do this one. Just kind of put your flowers at different angles and different heights. And that uh, that makes it look more interesting. You can bring them in from the side and all kinds of things. Let's put that right there. There we go. So we got that. And then let's see what our butterfly looks like on there. Hmm. It doesn't look as good on there as, now as I thought. So I may just stamp a butterfly. Let's just grab a butterfly and stamp it. Let's grab this big one right here. So we're going to grab this big butterfly. Now you could do all kinds of things on here. Don't let this, don't limit yourself to just this. Let's try adding a different color. Let's put a purple butterfly on here. Uh, drag out your ephemera your laces all of that and do you know put laces on here I don't know what that'll look like but we'll put it in there Ooh, I like that that's pretty so like I said there's a thousand things that you can do and it's all gonna be pretty it's all gonna look great so just add in what you want And it will look pretty so I really don't think I'm gonna do anything else to that I kind of like the looks of it just like it is but you could always do your ephemera like I did on this other one let's drag them all back out here you could do your ephemera like I did on this one if you wanted to do that if you don't want to do a lot of stamping it just depends on what you like so that is just a little bit of how to do the pockets and the tags and things from your old book pages. So drag out those old books, drag out your stamps, your ephemera, all kinds of things like that and just start adding. I even put some bling on this one. You know I gotta have me some bling somewhere. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. We will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments. We're, we're going to keep this rolling all the way to the end of the month and then we're going to give away all the prizes. Alright, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye bye.